The River Spey, flowing from the Cairngorm Mountains in the northeast of Scotland, is undoubtedly one of the world's finest Atlantic salmon rivers. The Delay Stream is a deep, narrow channel that flows between the Lower Bog and Delay Pools on Tulkin's seabed. The stream is generally fished off the north, which being a high, rocky bank makes it a tricky cast with the fly. The stream is often overlooked in favour of the more traditional Delay Pool below. However, the stream can hold fish at any time of the season as they wait to run the fast water and enter the bog pools above. Despite being an awkward cast and a relatively short run, the pool offers the opportunity to catch a salmon in a situation where the fish has the upper hand. The spade is at a perfect height for the stream, and I've seen a couple of fish moving in the tail of the pool, a classic location for salmon to be lying. I've worked my way down the pool on a full floating setup as I expect the fish to be sitting quite high in the water. It's a narrow channel, so I don't need a very long line out to cover the pool. I'll keep working my way down, taking a couple of steps between casts. The water is very clear, so if a salmon is in the mood and wants my fly, I don't think it will have any problem in seeing it. I'm casting at about 60 degrees and the fly is almost drifting across the pool. It's a tantalising pace that has my heart beating with anticipation. What a take! Salmon has grabbed my fly in the V and headed straight to the channel close to the bank. It's sitting deep and I can definitely feel it has a bit of weight to it. What a run that was, the fish is taking me almost to the back end. I need to get it in closer or I'll be in trouble if it decides to run again. This is my first fish using a click and pull reel. I've been wary of using this design in the past, but in fact it is very good for playing a strong fish. Applying a manual drag to the spool gives much smoother control, but it does take a bit of getting used to. The fish is playing very hard deep and close to the bank, it is making this a really tough fight. He's already been on for over 15 minutes and is not showing any signs of tiring. Roddy senses this will be our last stand and he slides into place with the net ready. The excitement is almost unbearable. It's a waiting game now. The fish has sunk deep and is using the depth and flow to its advantage. I've tightened in and I'm holding him, but he's still very strong. I managed to rein him in, but he can sense the gilly's presence on the bank and he pulls away strongly again. I'm putting a lot of pressure trying to tire him out, but he's not budging. It's getting to that point in the fight that I know I've got to put pressure on him, but it's mentally hard as you know you get that awful feeling you're going to lose him. My nerves are in shreds, but I'm holding on. That was close, but not close enough. Roddy instinctively doesn't lunge and stress the fish. He knows a better opportunity will come and he will be ready. Roddy signals me he wants me closer with a tighter angle. This will give the fish less room to manoeuvre and will lift his head up towards the net.
Yes! That's it, we have it. I can feel the blood is draining from me. I'm exhausted, but thrilled it's in the net. That was an incredible fight. The deep, heavy flow really gave the fish an advantage. That was an unbelievable 25 minutes from when we took the fly. It's a 13 pound bar of silver, and what an account it gave of itself. I'd expect that from a fish twice that size. The delay stream is a difficult place to take a salmon, and I'm grateful for Roddy's presence and his calmness to bring this one to the net. I'll remember this fish for a long time. It's a special feeling holding a fly caught salmon. You have to work tirelessly to get close to one, but I can't argue, it's worth every ounce of effort you put in. The resilience of these fish always amazes me. After a long fight, this fish is kicking hard already. I'm going to hold on a bit longer to make sure he's recovered though. Well that didn't take long and I feel relieved to see him swim away. It was a fabulous experience. What a beautiful fish. <laughs>